nice buttercream class. We are going to make festive cupcakes today using the new seasonal satin ice ready to use buttercream. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Um, I'm here in New York and it's perfect right now because it's actually snowing outside. So I'm feeling very festive and I'm ready to decorate these festive cupcakes with you guys. So we are going to be using um, the new satin ice buttercream frosting that comes in green, blue, red, and white. The white is always out and the red, blue, and green are seasonal. So that's very exciting. This is perfect for your holiday baking and decorating. And we're gonna go through some really adorable techniques that you guys can do for your parties or as gifts or to sell, whatever you want to do. Um, we can go to the overhead camera and I'll show you guys some of the supplies that we're gonna be working with. So like I mentioned earlier, we have the buttercreams that we're gonna be using and we're gonna be making these designs that are on the packaging, which are really, really cute. We have a Christmas tree, a winter hat, um, this is not on the packaging, but I thought this was a really fun idea as well that we could do with the green and the red, which is a wreath and a Santa hat, of course. So I have some spoons and some spatulas because we just need to stir the buttercream. It's already colored and ready to go. We're just going to stir it and transfer it to our piping bag. I have scissors because I need to cut my piping bag. Of course, I have all the piping bags. Um, I do have a variety of piping tips for the class. I said to get a 1M open star tip, which is this. If you have something similar, that's, that's gonna work too. You don't need to have this exact tip as long as it looks like a star tip or has these prongs. Um, and then we also have a smaller version of that tip, which is the 18 open star tip. Again, it doesn't have to be this exact number. If it, as long as you have kind of like a medium size one and a smaller one. And then I have others just in case for other decorations. Like I have an even larger star open tip. I have some like a star, like a closed star tip and some others around the same size in case I wanna do um, different colors with different piping tips and all that. And then of course I have cupcakes as well. And for a nice little hack, if you guys don't feel like baking your cupcakes, you can actually go to your local grocery store and go to the bakery section and ask for cupcakes that are not frosted. So that's what I did for these, which is great. You don't have to bake it. You could just decorate. And let's go over all about the buttercream first before we start decorating. So Satin Ice recently came out with ready to use buttercream, which is bright white color and it's a vanilla flavor. It's vegetarian and nut free and it's ready to go straight from the pail. All you have to do is give it a stir. So for the holidays, we decided to come out with some festive colors and we have a green, a blue and a red. So we're gonna be utilizing all these colors today for our designs. Um, what's great, like I said, you just open this up and it's ready to go. If you feel like it could be a little too firm, like if the weather is cold and your room is cold, this buttercream will kind of feel on the stiffer side. So you'll just wanna let it sit in a warmer room or you can even pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds just to kind of make it not as firm and easier to use. Um, if you want it to be even smoother, you can also add in water or milk to thin it down if needed, but it's really, it's the perfect, it's the perfect consistency as it is. So it's firm enough to hold a pipe, but it's smooth enough to be able to spread or even fill cakes. It's really, really great. So this is how nice bright white it is. It takes color very well. So the satin ice food color gels are great with this product. Um, but the beauty of these products here are that they're already pre-colored. And I know red is probably one of the most annoying colors to make because you feel like you always have to use a lot of dye. Um, and this red is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to open up every color so you guys can see everything, but I just wanted to show you guys the consistency of the white. So that's the white. 
And then if you guys have any questions along the way, please put them in the chat. Lindsay will let me know if you guys have any questions. So next we're gonna open up the red. On the packaging, does it have the ingredients listed? Yes. Yep. Okay. Right. The packaging has all the ingredients. Um, and then also, if you guys have any product specific questions, you can also go to the Satin Ice website as well. And we give um, all the information on the products there. Okay. Because well. there is a couple of questions about what the ingredients are and then what's used for the coloring in the dye. So um, that's good okay. information. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So this is the red. It's so beautiful. Like I said, it's already pre-colored. You don't have to do any of that. Very nice consistency. And like I said, all you're gonna wanna do is just give it a nice stir. You can transfer it to a bowl and give it a stir that way. You can even use your um, electric mixer and beater attachments and whip it up and you could even get like a fluffier texture that way. But I will say that there's so many ready to use buttercreams out there that don't taste good. And satin ice ready to use buttercream is so delicious that I like to just, I could just eat it out of the, the can. Like dip cookies in it or something. It's so good. So that's a very big plus. So color is great, taste is great, workability is great. It's all around a fantastic product and makes your decorating easier. Okay, so and if you good. need to, can you add food coloring to the, the vanilla, the white one? Yes. Yep. You can create custom colors with the white. So that's also what's great. You can use the satin ice food color gels. It won't, um, it won't mess up the consistency of the product, which is great. And the white takes color very well because of the bright white tint. This is so helpful, Sarah. Thank you. We have one, uh, one more question. Is it storable? Yes. Um, so the buttercream can be stored right in this container because it is an airtight container. That's what's great. You can just plop the lid back on and it's good to go. Um, it, you do want to store it with the lid on tightly and you want to refrigerate it up to 30 days once opened. Before it's opened, it, I believe it has at least a year shelf life, at least with unopened. Um, but it's important to keep it closed when storing because you don't want the buttercream to dry out. As buttercream is um, exposed to air as it sits out for like a few hours, it will develop a crust, which is all, also nice because you can do further decorations on top of your buttercream that's crusted, like using edible paint or something along those lines. So it's, oh, it's always good to have a crusting buttercream too. So here's the blue. This blue is so beautiful as well. It's like a really happy, cheerful blue. And again, I'm just gonna give this one a stir as well. So it's a beautiful texture, thick enough to hold a pipe, which is very important. And keep in mind too, as you guys fill your piping bags with the buttercream and your hand is wrapped around the piping bag for a while, the the buttercream will warm up a little bit as well. So if it's too if it's too thin, it won't hold the pipe. Okay, so we gave the blue a good stir. And next I'm gonna open up the green. Green is just as pretty too. And it smells so good in this room right now between the cupcakes and this buttercream as I'm stirring them. So once you guys have your buttercreams all stirred and ready to go, we can begin filling the piping bags. Let's decide. I'm probably not gonna leave all these buttercreams open the whole time. I just wanted you guys to see the colors. And I think we will do the Christmas tree design first. So we're gonna start with the green. So you'll need your green buttercream, piping bag, and you're going to want to use one of your open star tips, one of the 
like a medium size. You can even do a larger size too. You just don't want it to be too small because you do want to cover the surface of your cupcake. So for example, a piping tip this size would be way too small. You want something about like medium to large, like even this size would work just as well. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna pipe a nice swirl on top of the cupcake. This is what we're going for. And for the star, you can use fondant. You don't have to put a star either, or you can even use like star sprinkles. They have those as well. Okay. So first, you want to put your piping tip into your piping bag. I don't know if you guys can hear that alarm, but our local fire department alarm is going off. So that's, if you hear that, that's what it is. So when I put my piping tip in my piping bag, what I first like to do is push it down all the way that it possibly can without ripping the bag just so I know exactly where I have to cut. You don't wanna to cut too much above your piping tip because you don't want the piping tip to fall out of the bag. So you just wanna go just until the edge can come out. I already did cut mine, but I have to cut it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna kind of mark where I need to cut just enough so that the piping tip peeks out, but it's not gonna fall out. What I like to do, if I don't have a tall um, glass or anything to fold this bag over, like you could put the piping bag into a glass, fold this, fold the piping bag over the glass and this way it stands up on its own and you can easily put the buttercream in. If you don't have that, I like to just hold the piping bag and fold the edges down my hand and kind of create a cup to easily put the buttercream in. So I already have my buttercream mixed so you will want to just give it a stir just to like um smooth it out a little bit and i'm just gonna put a couple spoonfuls in and we're just gonna squeeze the buttercream down until it reaches the end of the tip and we'll be ready to go so with this tip we're actually going to be able to do two designs we're going to do the christmas tree and I also did these little wreaths, which are fun. I did two different styles for the wreaths, so we could do those as well. Okay, so when you're doing this, you wanna just, you wanna twist the top of your bag so that you don't squeeze any buttercream above so that nothing falls out of the top of the bag. And this is gonna help you create your pressure. You're gonna lightly squeeze it with, your palm and your fingers wrapping around the top of the bag and that pressure is going to have the buttercream um, fall out. So you wanna just use light pressure and as you're pressing, you're going to kind of swirl the buttercream and you're just gonna keep going on top of each layer until you have a nice tall swirl like this. So you're just gonna start squeezing, go around continue to overlap it, keep going around, and the circles are gonna be a little bit smaller as you get to the top. And then at the top, you're going to stop squeezing and you're gonna release and it's gonna create a little point. And that's the perfect tree. And then so, there's a- Sarah, when you did that, I mostly saw just the piping bag. I might try and if it's possible to do that again and let's see what it looks like from the front camera. Okay. Okay, so what I do is I'm squeezing and then as I'm squeezing, I'm starting to go in a circle. I create one layer, then I go on top and I do another layer and I'm still squeezing and I'm just making a tall swirl. When I get to the top, I stop squeezing and I just pull up and that creates a point. Yes, that was better, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put the green to the side for now. And then next I did little like red berries for this tree. Um, you can do all different color little dollops around to create like uh, um, different Christmas light colors or you can even dust powdered sugar on top to give it a snow effect. There's so many ways that you can decorate your Christmas tree. 
Um, you can also cut out little shapes of fondant and put them all around or roll little small balls of fondant to put them on. And um, today though, I am using the buttercream. So I'm just gonna use the red buttercream and I'm not gonna use a piping tip for this. I'm just gonna use the piping bag and we're just gonna cut a small amount off the tip to create those little, uh, the little berries. <clears throat> And we do have a question. How many cupcakes can each container typically do? Um, so it depends how you're frosting your cupcakes. If you're doing a lot of buttercream, like this, this is a lot of buttercream on top of a cupcake. So it depends what design you're doing. If you're doing something like this, I would say that you would probably get maybe six to eight cupcakes. That's a lot of buttercream though. If you're doing a shorter swirl or just like a, a short, like a, a, a flat surface or just spreading the frosting on top, you could definitely get at least a dozen. Um, this is one pound of buttercream. So I, I think it's about two cups of buttercream. So next. I'm going to start with the red buttercream. And again, I already gave this a little stir. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my piping bag and we don't need much for this. Squeeze it down as much as I can. You're not gonna be able to squeeze it all the way down until you cut a little hole at the end so that there's air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit off the tip of the piping bag, just enough to be able to have like little small dots. And then I'm gonna be able to squeeze this all the way down to the edge. I actually, I think I wanna cut a little bit more so that I have a bigger opening. Okay. Not sure if you can see that, but that's the, how much I cut off the tip. And then I'm gonna hold the cupcake like this so that you guys can see the dolloping of the, the dots. So just all around the tree, I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna squeeze. This is, so this could be a little hard. You have to just make sure you stop squeezing before you pull away because you could have these like spikes coming off the tree or long strands. So really what you wanna do is you wanna just do a light squeeze, stop squeezing and kind of swirl your wrist a little bit like this to make it kind of round out and not um, pull. So I'm just going to squeeze, stop squeezing and kind of just twist my wrist a little bit so that it's just a little dollop. So I'm just gonna continue this all the way around the tree in different areas. So I'm just squeezing stop squeezing, give it a little twist and then pull away. Squeeze, stop, squeeze, give it a little twist and pull away. And just go all the way around the tree. And like I said, you could do different colors of this. You can tint the white buttercream to have um, different colors. I think it would also be fun too, if you kind of, which uh, maybe I'll try on this other one. If you did like a strand of garland kind of, going around. So let me try this. I don't know if this is going to work out, but so for this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from the top and I'm just going to slowly kind of move my way around the tree and kind of create like a red garland. So using the same, um, piping bag, same color, I'm just going to start lightly squeezing and I'm just going to start going around the tree. I'm still squeezing using the same 
even pressure. And I can't keep twisting my arm. So I'm gonna stop there and then I'm gonna twist it back. And then I'm gonna start right where I left off and I'm gonna keep just squeezing, same pressure while twisting my arm. And if you have to stop, obviously, because you can't twist your arm in all different directions, you're just gonna twist it to where you can, and then you're gonna just begin where you left off. That strand didn't wanna stick. If something like that happens, that's okay. Just go back to where you left off. So I'm just lightly squeezing and going around the Christmas tree to create kind of like a, a garland. So this is another cute way to do it. And then you can even have like lights coming off. Okay. So that's how you decorate the tree. And maybe later if there's time I can show you another way to do a, a tree decoration. I've actually seen people put an ice cream cone, they, they cut it in half and they put the pointy side up and then they pipe all the way around the cone to create a Christmas tree. But you can do that same style with all buttercream. So maybe we can see that later. Um, next, I wanna show you guys how to do the wreath design using the same colors. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more buttercream to my piping bag. Sarah, we had a question on one of the, um, what the largest star tip is called that you have there. Um, so the one that I put for the class list was a 1M and that's what I just used for the buttercream for the, uh, for the tree. But this large one, this, they all have different numbers depending on what brand you guys get, but this one's 827. It's just a large open star tip. Okay, so also when you guys add more buttercream to your piping bag, you're gonna probably incorporate air. So I kind of just like to massage the bag a little bit. And then I like to just pipe some out because there's gonna probably be air. Like, I don't know if you just heard that, but if there was an air pop, and that stops the buttercream from coming out. So I just like to do that to make sure that my buttercream doesn't have any air bubbles as I'm piping a cupcake. Okay, so I did this wreath two ways. The first way is very, they're both very simple, but this one is just one continuous piping all around the whole cupcake. So I'm just gonna start on the bottom edge and we're just gonna continuously go around the whole cupcake and then stop squeezing. So I'm gonna start squeezing and I'm just gonna go all the way around the cupcake. And then once I reach where I began, I'm gonna stop squeezing and I'm just gonna lightly pull away. And you get this really cute little wreath shape. And on this, you could even do the same design and put like little red berries around. Um, I'm gonna make a bow using the red buttercream. And I'm gonna use the same piping bag because we don't need a piping tip for this either. We just want a small cut off. Okay, so for the bow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by making the loops. And basically what the loops are, it's kind of like a heart in a way but you're, you're bringing the center of the heart all the way down. So I'm gonna do two loops and then we'll do the tails. So I'm just gonna find the center on the bottom of the cupcake and I'm just gonna begin making my loops. So that's one loop. 
do another loop and then make the tails. And I kind of like make them like a little wavy. And that's one right there. And then the other wreath is just by doing dollops all the way around. And if you wanted to, you could do some white buttercream on the base of the cupcake first. If you don't want any cupcake to show, you could first do a light layer of white buttercream and then do your um, the ring around the cupcake. Okay, so for this design right here, all I did was just straight up dollops using the open star tip all the way around the cupcake. Oh, someone said fill it with sprinkles. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I that's a really pretty idea. I was saying before this class, I was like, I don't have any um Christmas sprinkles, but it would be so fun to add sprinkles to all of these. Um, okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna start dolloping all the way around. So what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing, I stop squeezing and then lightly pull away. If you pull away too fast, you're gonna have this like pointy dollop. So you just want to lightly squeeze, stop squeezing, slowly pull away. Squeeze, stop squeezing, slowly pull away. And just continue to do this all the way around the cupcake. Squeezing, stop squeezing, slowly pull away. All the way around the cupcake. And if you have any like points that are too pointy, you can even just take your pink your finger and just kind of like smush them down a little bit. Um, I do want to show you on this lid what I mean by if you keep squeezing when you pull away. So if, if I, this is me squeezing, stopping and pulling away. If I squeeze while I'm pulling away, that's what's going to happen. So you kind of create a little tree. But that's what's great about this buttercream too, is that you can do these dollops like this and it's stable enough which is awesome. Like you can make a cupcake with all these little trees all around it, which would be really cute. But when you're doing a design like that, you wanna make sure you get this effect. So where you're just squeezing, stop squeezing and you pull away. Okay, so I'm gonna put the green buttercream to the side. And then with the red, we're gonna do the bow again, but maybe I think I'm gonna do the bow on the top of the cupcake this time. So I'm just gonna find an area and I'm just going to make two loops for the bow. Loop number one. Loop number two. And just create the tails of the bow. I love these wreaths. I think they're so cute. Yes, those are so, they're, so cute. So cute. And they're so simple. And you're hardly using any buttercream to get these done. So like if you were doing this design, you can get, I'm sure, probably two dozen cupcakes at least with doing that small amount of buttercream on each cupcake. Um, what else was I going to say? If you wanted to do the bow in a different way, if you were like, eh, I don't really like my buttercream skills, I don't have confidence that I'm gonna be able to do a loop. You can also take red fondant and you can get a bow, um, a silicone mold for a bow and press that in there and demold it and you'll have a nice bow for your, your wreath or for your trees even. So that's another way to do it. That's the beauty of the satinized products too is that all of them, um, all of them work, all the products work very nicely together. Okay. So next I say we do, since we just worked with green and red, let's work with the blue and we're gonna create this cute winter hat. It looks like a little knit hat. And we're gonna do it with blue, but we can even do it with any of the other colors too. Um, okay. So for this one, I used several different tips for this one. So I'm gonna probably have um, two or three piping bags. 
Um, the first tip that we're going to want to use for this is this open star tip, the same one that we used before. So this is the, I believe this is the 1M star tip. It's just an open star tip, like about medium size. And then we're going to create this little knit effect by just cutting the end of the tip of the piping bag. So we won't have to do um, a new piping tip for that. And then for these little white dollops around, I used a very small open star tip. So it's like the next size down. And I believe I put that on the sheet as well. That's the number 18. And again, if you don't have those exact sizes, just make sure that it's smaller than the piping tip that you use to create the actual hat. You don't even have to use a piping tip for these details. You could just use um, an open cut on the piping bag and just create little white dollops look like pom-poms almost. Okay. So I'm going to get my piping bag ready. I always get buttercream all over myself when I use this. So I have some wet paper towels by me to clean my surface as I go along. Okay. So I'm going to put the piping tip into the piping bag. Again, I like to make sure it's all the way at the bottom so I can see where I need to cut. You wanna make sure that you don't cut too much off. If you cut up here, your piping tip's gonna fall right through as you're putting pressure to squeeze the buttercream out. So you really just wanna kind of mark where you're going to cut. You want like the tip of the piping tip to be out of the piping bag. So you can just see where it is. You can kind of make a little mark with your scissors on your piping bag where you wanna cut, push up the piping bag, and then just cut across where you made a mark. And then squeeze all the way through. This is the open star tip. This is the same. I'm using another tip because I have multiples of these, but this is the similar to the 1M tip. It's just a small or medium sized open star tip. I also use the same or a similar size. It might've been a little bit bigger for the Christmas tree, but this size can work for the Christmas tree as well and the wreath. So this is just a medium sized open star tip. And I'm just going to um, pull the piping bag down, make my little cup so it's easy for me to put the buttercream in. And we're moving on to the blue buttercream, which I already mixed, but I'm just, since it's been sitting here for a couple of minutes, I'm just gonna give it another stir, make sure it's nice and smooth. Get a nice dollop. And then you'll just want to squeeze this all the way to the bottom. And then you do want to fill one more piping bag with the blue because this is going to be for the little knit detailing that we do. So I'm just gonna fill a little bit of blue buttercream into this bag. No piping tip needed for this one. Again, squeeze this down and you're gonna notice you're not gonna be able to squeeze it down much without cutting a hole at the bottom to let air through. Um, and I, I want to make a similar cut to what we did for the red before. So it's just a little bit off the tip. So we have a nice round opening. And this is going to be used for the knit detailing on the hat. So first we're going to start with this other bag that we just filled with the open star tip. And what we wanna do is we wanna just create a small dollop in the center with like a little bit of height. 
And then we're gonna go around with the same piping tip and create kind of like a dome. It's gonna be easier to explain it as I go along. So I'm just gonna create a small dollop in the center of the cupcake with some height. Like that, doesn't have to look perfect because it's gonna be hidden with all the other buttercream. So not as much as the, we did with the tree, just a little bit in the center. And then I'm gonna take the same buttercream using the same piping tip and I'm gonna squeeze, keep squeezing and move up the cupcake all the way until I reach the top. Once I reach the top, stop squeezing, slowly pull away. So you're gonna do this all the way around. This dollop in the middle is kind of your base so that you can hold, it can hold up these pipings that we're doing around. So I'm gonna squeeze and drag it up the top of the uh, buttercream. Start at the base, squeeze, drag it up to the top. Squeeze, drag it up to the top, stop squeezing, pull away. And you're just continuing this all the way around. And you can do this with any color that you want. You can even alternate colors, that would be fun. Starting at the base, squeezing, pulling up. Starting at the base, squeezing, pulling up all the way to the top. So now we have like this little dome. Okay, so the next part is when we create the little knit texture all the way around, which are these little crisscrosses. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create these crisscrosses kind of like with every other, um, just all the way around so that you wanna have this original texture in between the different crisscrosses. So you just wanna give a little space in between each row. Okay, so for the crisscrosses, you're gonna just start at the base and you're going to squeeze and create a diagonal line that's short and small. And you're just gonna, and then you're gonna do the same thing across it. And you're just gonna continue this motion all the way up a line till you get to the top of the hat. So you're squeezing, stop squeezing, slowly pull away. And you're just making a crisscross motion. So you're starting on one side, pulling over, then you're gonna start on that same side that you just pulled over and you're just crisscrossing back and forth. Crisscross. So we wanna do that repetitively all the way around but you wanna make sure that this texture comes through as well. So I'm just gonna give a little space and then I'm gonna start my next crisscross. So I'm gonna squeeze and you're just kind of making little X's up the buttercream. Squeezing, stop squeezing, slowly pull away. This is the, the time consuming design, but it's, I think it's worth it because it's really adorable. So we have our second row and then we're gonna just continue around. So we're just gonna give a little bit of space and then start the next row of um, crisscrosses. So I'm squeezing, pulling, stop squeezing, slowly pull away. All the way until you get to the top. This one can definitely make your hand tired. So as you're squeezing, you just wanna make sure that your buttercream is, it's not sliding up the bag. You just wanna make sure as you use more, you just wanna push it down. 
for the basket weave to work. Yes, um, the basket weave tip is, is more of like a flat tip, but it might be too big. Like this is such a small area. That's why I'm using this. So I'm doing crisscrosses. So if the basket weave tip is small enough, I, I do believe that it could work. Honestly, you probably don't even have to do this detail. You could leave it like with this texture, but I just think it's adds a really just an extra cute cuteness to this cupcake. So I'm just continuing the crisscrosses all the way around, leaving some space in between each row so that you get both textures. All the way until you get to the top. We're almost done. Squeeze across. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, we're gonna do one more row. So I'm starting at the base and making X's all the way up till I reach the top of the cupcake. So I finally finished all the knit texture around the cupcake. And then next we will use the white buttercream. So the white buttercream, and again, you could do a different color for these. Um, like this is kind of like the fuzz on the hat with the pom-pom, you can use a different color. If you want, you could use green, you could use red. I'm gonna use the white. And for this part, you don't necessarily have to use a piping tip, but I like to just to get that cool little textured pom-pom look, but you could just cut the tip off like a little bit wider than we just did before and just do like little pom-poms all around, like rounded pipes. I'm going to use a smaller open star piping tip. It's very small. Again, you don't have to use a piping tip for it. So I'm just putting the piping bag down, or the piping tip bag down in the bag, finding out where I need to cut it so that I don't, don't cut too much. It's enough for the tip of the piping tip to peek out of the piping bag. Give this white buttercream a stir again. need a little bit and then we are going to use save this because we'll use this same piping bag and piping tip for the Santa hat to do the same effect okay so to get this detail around the um the hat we're just going to go along the base of the hat and dollop white buttercream so we're going to use that same technique that we did for the wreath where we squeeze, stop squeezing, pull away. Squeeze until enough comes out, stop squeezing, pull away. So the more you squeeze, the more the buttercream is going to build up and then create a nice little star dollop. Squeeze, stop squeezing, pull away. Squeeze, stop, squeeze, pull away. And you can fill in any extra areas if you wanna go back over them again. I'm just gonna do this all the way around the base of the hat.
And then I just like to check over it to make sure if I have to go over any areas. Okay, so we have the base done and then now is the time to just do a pom pom on the top. And I just do a couple little dollops so I squeeze that pull away and I just do like maybe like a cluster of like four of them on top. And Sarah, if possible, can you hold that? Yes, up to the camera. Yep. So you have the detail from the open star tip and then you have the detail from the cross texture that we did with no piping tip, just a small cut at the end of the bag. And then this is the texture from the small open star piping tip, which created our pom poms. And then up next is the Santa hat. So save this white buttercream that you have in your small, um, with your small piping, open star piping tip. And we just need to fill another piping tip with red, or a piping bag with red. And then we're not gonna use a piping tip. We're gonna do the same thing that we did before, but cut a larger cut. If you wanted to use this same bag, you could, but if you're still doing the designs with the, the smaller cut for the red for the bow or the dollops for the berries on the tree, just go, just save this and do another piping bag with a larger cut. So I'm just adding some red buttercream to this. Another thing that I wanted to bring up about the buttercream too is that um, the vanilla flavor is such a good flavor, but it's subtle enough. Like I feel like vanilla, you can always build to it. So if you wanted to, you can add peanut butter to it. You could add cocoa powder to it. Um, any flavoring like almond or lemon would be good too. So just because it comes pre-flavored with vanilla doesn't mean that you can't customize it. You can add color, you can add flavor, you can whip it up to make a fluffier texture. And we have a question on that, that uh, so you do not have to use a coupler. No. Okay, so people people can use couplers for this so that you can interchangeably, so you don't have to use a lot of piping bags and um, you can add different piping tips to your coupler, but different you have to have different size couplers for different tip sizes. So I just like to use um, different piping bags and some, some of the piping bags, I don't need to use a tip. So I'd rather just not use a coupler, but if you're if you like to use them that works too this way you can just pop the tip off add another tip onto the same color okay so for this design we're just doing a rounded cut to get this like dollop effect this smooth dollop effect so we're just going to make a cut straight across the piping bag i'm going to probably go up around like maybe like an inch and a half to two inches so you get like a medium size, I'll show you guys how much I cut. So that's how much I cut for mine. And this one's fun because all you have to do, we're gonna use the same swirling technique that we did for the tree, except this doesn't have a piping tip. So you're not gonna have that texture. It's gonna be a smooth dollop. So first you're just going to do start squeezing around and you're going to continue to overlap and go up and the further you go up the cupcake the smaller your swirls are going to be so you get that i could try to do that again with the cupcake on its side this way you guys can see it at a better view so i'm starting kind of in the center and i'm just going to make a ring if you feel comfortable, you can do little rings at a time. You don't have to do one continuous. And like each time you go on top, this the ring is gonna be smaller.
the center you don't have to worry about because we're gonna add the little pom-pom for the top of the hat. Buttercream's moving a little bit, okay. So once you have that, then we can add the white pom-poms. So again, we're gonna use the same technique that we did with the blue hat. And we're gonna start at the base and we're just gonna squeeze our white buttercream. Squeeze, stop squeezing, pull away. Just make sure you stop squeezing when you pull away. This way it's a nice clean dollop. Just go all the way around the base of your cupcake. And then you can create the little pom-pom on top. Same with this one, just go all the way around. So I'm just squeezing. And before I pull away, I make sure to stop squeezing the buttercream out. So we've got our Santa hats, we've got our winter hats, we have Christmas trees and wreaths. They look so fun. They look so good. Thank you. Which one is your guys' favorite design? I think mine's the winter hat just because it's really cute with the stitching. It is very cute with the stitching. Yeah. Someone asked, do I have a link to find the ingredients? Um, if you, all the ingredients were listed in the class details, if you still have access to that, but I can go over them again and you can even just search these on michaels.com. Christmas tree was your favorite. Oh, ingredients for the icing. If you go on satinice.com, um, Michaels might have it on their listing as well, but if you go to satinice or michaels.com and search the buttercream, you'll find all the ingredients there. And if you can't find it, please feel free to reach out to Satinice. You can reach out to us on Instagram, on Facebook. You can email us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So any questions that you guys ever have, you can contact us directly. Does anyone else have any other questions? Um, I don't see any questions, just one favorite for the Christmas tree. Oh, if anyone, um, like I said, if anyone has any questions after you guys can message us on social media, email us. Um, oh, we have one that came through. Sometimes the frosting doesn't let go of the tip. Sometimes, okay, yes, sometimes that does happen. Um, that could also just be with the pressure of how you're squeezing. So. For example, like if I'm, if I don't stop like squeezing, it's like the tip, the, the buttercream is just gonna wanna keep going. See how it's, it's just gonna keep going. So like you kind of wanna, you wanna squeeze and kind of stop and then pull. It's hard to explain. Once you get the technique down, it's really easy, but I, so I squeeze, I stop squeezing. I don't, I kind of almost like push down a little bit, but not really before I release. So I'm gonna do this to the side this way you could see. So I'm squeezing, stop squeezing. And I kind of like put, I really I'm not pushing down. I'm just like a little bit just to help release it. So I hope that helps. 
but sometimes buttercream does like to do that. And I know exactly what you're talking about. So you just have to make sure that you're not squeezing as you pull away, or you might have to just kind of maneuver the piping bag a little bit. But I hope everyone uses these designs for their holiday baking and um, you can just go to your local Michael shop. They have tons of satinized seasonal products there right now. They have the blue buttercream, the red buttercream, the green buttercream. They also have the white. We also have the white in peppermint flavor at Michael's as well. So definitely go over there before it's all gone. Um, and I hope you use it for your holiday baking. We also have shimmered fondants as well at Michael's right now and flavored fondants. So definitely get over to your local Michael's and try out these new products. And thank you guys for joining me. And I hope you guys have happy holidays and a great rest of your night. Bye everyone.